Hey guys, Nick here from Into Fly Fishing and today we're going to do another vlog video here in the country of Slovenia. I've gone fishing three times already here and I've had a blast. The fishing is spectacular and so are the views. Today we have perfect weather and this is the first time I'm fishing here without a guide so I'm really hoping we get into some good fish here. We're on a stunning looking river just outside of the city of Bled, just off of Lake Bled and I'm really looking forward to getting out there, casting some lines and catching some rainbows and some browns all on my own. So let's get into this guys. Let's go. bigger I gotta get out deeper because I'm getting all these little guys nice colors wow nice fish okay hold on really pretty colors there he goes nice fish Nice looking rainbow. Gorgeous. All right. Little guys in here so far, but I know they're out there. The big ones, there he goes.
that guy might be the rainbow of the day so far. Nice looking fish. Beauty. Woo! Nice one. There you go, bud. There he goes. Easy. <laughs> Yes! Beauty! Nice! Oh shit, are you tangled? No, nope, you're hooked right on the mouth. Just where I want you. Yes! <laughs> Another very nice colorful rainbow. Awesome. Look at the condition that guy's in. All right guys, well, so far so good on this nymph I've got on here. I'm gonna let this guy go, he swelled that pretty good. Nice looking rainbow, beauty. There you go, buddy, you good? Oh yeah, he's got energy left in it. There he goes, nice. I know there's fish in there. You're in there, fish. Come on, a little, maybe a little deeper than that, but they're right there. I can see them. Oh. Here we go, right through that center line. There are some fish. Here we go. I saw you guys in there, come on. Yes, this is awesome. Lots of nice little rainbow in this pool. Oh, that's a brown. That is a brown. Nice little fish. Fush, 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 fush. All right, go ahead, buddy. There we go. So I've been fishing at this hole right here for the last couple hours and got lots of nice little rainbows on there. And actually the ranger came by too and checked my license quickly. But they're actually quite expensive here in Slovenia. Uh, depending on where you are, they might cost 35 euros, they might cost 25, all the way up to 75 euro, I think, I think is the most expensive one. Um, so yeah, it's kind of pricey. That's, that's for a day, that's not for a month or a year or anything like that. So it is quite pricey, but of course, always got to have your license in case they come check and to help protect these beautiful fish here in Slovenia. So I think I'm going to go have some food, get a little bit of lunch in me, uh, warm up my feet a little bit, and then head back out on another spot that we went here before uh, where there's some bigger rainbows. So let's go get some food. Okay, so I'm going to stand on the, on the rocks here then. Yeah. Oh, they're rising up over there. Oh, he just jumped right next to my indicator. Yeah, first cast, nice. Oh, it's a brown, a nice looking brown. Okay. Nice, eh? Hey? Colors. Oh, don't get tangled up, buddy. Oh, there we go. Come here, bud. Oh, there we go. What a brown. Woo! 
Nice one. Sick. Sick. Hold on. He's a flailer. Nice fish. Let him go. He's good. Oh. First cast. There's one. Little guy. Oh, shit. Come here. Let's do the old no touch, let go. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was bigger than that, that time. He just took it hard. There's one. That one's a bit bigger. There's one. Yeah, definitely. A oh, bastard. No. Oh, that was definitely bigger. Damn it. So as always, I'm going to talk a little bit about the gear that I'm using today. I have on me today the Snowbee GXS 9 foot 5 weight fly rod. And I've got that hooked up with their Spectre number 7, 8 cassette reel. So I'm overweighting the line again. Um, and it's really been getting a lot of backbone. I'm able to really easily mend the line on the water and fire the line out really far with it. Uh, I've got that reel spooled up with the Snowbee Spectre floating fly line. And I'm using about 9 feet of uh, tippet with just a little strike indicator and the first fly that I was using that caught so many fish was a copper john. Uh, and lastly I'm wearing this, the Vixen pack, my trusty Vixen pack. Today I have my flies in there, I've been using it all the time. Perfect place to hold everything. With that out of the way, let's get back to fishing. Okay, stay on, Fush. Okay, Bob, come here. Shit. It's a bigger one. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's not ready. Come on. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, Jesus. That's a nicer fish. Oh, and he just came off when I got him in the net. Oh, beautiful brown. Look at that thing. Gorgeous. 
Oh, okay. Let me come over here so I can get some smokes. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Nice looking brown. Look at that bad boy. Big fatty. Looking great. Awesome. Yep. You, you zoomed way in? Yep. Okay, he might take a sec, I'm not sure. I'm good. Zoomed way in? Yep. He's good. No problem. Ooh. So it's always a good idea to be an ambassador for fly fishing whenever you come on the rivers and clean up as much as possible. And Doris has been walking up and down the, the rocky shores here, picking up tons of line and leader that have been left behind by fly fishermen and other anglers. So whenever we're out fishing, we always try to clean up as much of this stuff as we can. We're picking up garbage and plastic bottles and this leader and line. And we're always super careful to pick up our own leader and line and make sure we're not letting it drop into the river or spitting it out when we're cutting it off the end of our hooks so always good to be conscious of this beautiful environment that we get to fish in and try to protect the fish as well ah, there's one finally so they do well they don't mind this fly that looks like a rainbow Oh, nice. All right, all right, all right. Nice fresh beauty. Go ahead, buddy. There he goes. Nice. That's a brown, I think. Come here, buddy. This one doesn't count. It's too brown. <laughs> this is not the last fish. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I never said such a thing. It's a really nice brown. Come here, bud. Oh, that's just bigger than the last one. Oh, oh, oh. nice. And I just got him. Okay, so that brown was, I think, even bigger than the last one I caught. And I keep telling the camera lady here that we're gonna go next cast, next cast. And then I landed that guy, so that's pretty awesome. What does that mean? You think it means we stay out longer? Next cast. Next cast. All right, one more cast. <laughs> that was a wicked fish. Woo! So I'm happy that I got some fish for you guys today. You know, I came out with a guide here in Slovenia for a few days. And of course, I got lots of fish on those days, but it's always nice to take their advice back on the water when you're just by yourself. And that's exactly what I did today. 
had lots of little rainbows and then those nice couple brown trout at this honey hole at the end of the day. And everybody, please leave a comment down below and say thank you so much to the camera woman. My wife, Doris, she is so patient and she's always coming out here and filming all these vlog videos for us on this channel. And thank you guys for watching. As always, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, tight lines.